Good morning, everyone. Uh, his today, gunman assassinated Haitian President Jovenel Moise and wounded his wife in their home, inflicting more chaos on the stable Caribbean country that's already enduring an escalation of gang violence, anti-government protests, and a recent surge in coronavirus infections. Here we see surveillance video of one of the gunmen walking in and checking out the area before assassinating Juvenile Moisey. Claudie Joseph, the interim prime minister, confirmed the killing and said the police and military were in control of security in Haiti, where a history of dictatorship and political upheaval have long stymied the consolidation of democratic rule. And unfortunately, I don't believe that's true. Things are getting worse. While the streets of the Haitian capital were quiet in the morning, some people ransacked businesses in here. The country appears to be well, headed for fresh normal. uncertainty no, ahead of a planned general election start. later this year. Moisey was 53 when he was assassinated and had been well, ruling by decree for more than a year after the country Jesus failed to hold elections master. and the opposition demanded to step down in recent months. So he was probably assassinated by the opposition. The gunmen were said to speak Spanish, but it's believed that they were speaking Spanish to throw off people uh, in a country where people not only speak French. Former President Michel Martelli, whom Moisey succeeded, said he was praying for the First Lady, Martine Moisey, calling the assassination a heart blow for our country and for our Haitian democracy, which is struggling to find its way. Joseph Fit Martine, who was 47, was shot and in a hospital. He condemned the President's killing as a hateful inhumane and barbaric act. The country's security situation is under control of the National Police of Haiti and the Armed Forces of Haiti, uh, Joseph said from his office. He also said democracy and republic will win, but this will be a tough trial for Haiti. A resident who lives near the president's home said she heard an attack. She said, I thought there was an earthquake. There was so much shooting said the woman who spoke on a condition of anonymity because she fears for her life. The president had problems with many people, but this is not how we expected him to die. This is something I wouldn't wish on any Haitian. The U.S. Embassy in Haiti said it was restricting U.S. staff to its compounds, and the embassy would be closed on Wednesday because of an ongoing security situation. The White House and Biden described the attack as horrific and tragic said it was still gathering information on what happened. <sighs> President Joe Biden will be briefed later today by his national security team. Uh, that's from Jen Saki, who's a spokesperson. The message to the people of Haiti is this, this is a tragic tragedy, she said. She said, we stand ready and stand by them to provide any assistance that's needed. Haiti's economic, political, and social woes have deepened recently gang violence spiking in Port-au-Prince. Inflation spiking, food and fuel becoming scarcer and more expensive, where 60% of the population makes less than $2 a day. $2 a day. This troubles come as Haiti still is recovering from the 2010 earthquake and Hurricane Matthew, which struck in 2016. Unfortunately, this is another case where a dictator um, was assassinated for staying too long in office. Our prayers rest with him and his wife and family. See you guys.